All right, here we go. This one's gonna be a 45 auto versus 10 millimeter test. So for a 45, we're gonna be using our Hornady 230 grain XTP. That is a plus P. That's what that one looks like. Does have a huge hollow point cavity. Standard brass case, and that one's rated 950 feet per second. And for a 10 millimeter, that one is the 180 grain XTP. Also your standard brass case, and that one's rated 1,275 feet per second. So we'll see how close we come today. So for a 45, we're gonna be using our old school Astra A80. Uh, my father-in-law actually gave this one to me a while back and we haven't had it on the channel yet, so I figured this would be a perfect time. And that one does have a 3.8 inch barrel. And for our 10 millimeter, we're gonna be using our brand new Glock 29. Uh, that one also has a 3.8 inch barrel. So we'll be going through our gel. It is a 10% block. Do have our catch block behind that, so a total of 22 inches of gel. Our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front, and like always, we'll set up our chronograph so we can hopefully pick up those impact velocities. So let's set up and see how these rounds do head to head. First one up will be that 45 auto. All right, we're setting back to 15 feet. Let's see how we did on that one. All right, so it looks like our impact velocity on that one was 850 feet per second, right on the dot. So not too bad, about 100 feet per second less, but uh, I believe that one was rated out of a full size five inch. So still not too bad. All right, so here is the entry. It looks like we did come in just a little bit low. Um, that trigger is a little bit uh, tough to get used to, but still not too bad of a shot. You can see right down that cavity and a pretty decent star pattern so far. So let's check it out from the top. Oh yeah, not too bad at all. So you can see pretty much as soon as that thing came in, it started opening up. It has a pretty decent uh, spiral cut going through and then we actually did make it into that second block. So let's see how far we went or how wide that stretch is. This one's a little bit difficult to see. Like always, we'll cut these open here at the end, but let's see. So at our widest spot, we are right at two inches, right on the dot, so not too bad from there. So let's check it out from the side. And same thing. So hopefully uh, you guys are able to see this, but it looks like as soon as that thing came in, started opening up and uh, got a nice star pattern going all the way through. It looks like it carried that energy about halfway through that block. Then did start to settle down a little bit, and then we did make it into that second one. So let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the side. And from the side, we're about two and an eighth inches, so a little bit wider from the side than the top. So let's see how far we went into that block. So at our leading edge, we're about four inches, so we actually made it about 15 inches of uh, total penetration. So that's really not too bad at all. So let's set up for that 10 millimeter and see how that one does. All right, we're sitting back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. So it looks like our impact velocity on that one was 1184 feet per second. So that one's rated at 1275. Um, so really not too bad for that short barrel. Um, like I said, I have tested this in the past, uh, but out of the full size and we got uh, pretty much advertised. So really good to see there. So here is that entry hole on that one. Looks like we got a little bit better hit. You can see right down in that cavity and there is a huge star pattern so far. So let's check it out from the top. Oh yeah, not too bad at all. That one is definitely uh, bigger than that 45. You can see it came in, started opening up, dumping all kinds of energy. 
Looks like it carried it pretty much about the same. It did start to settle down towards the end and we did make it into that second block. So let's see what kind of measurement we have on this one. So at our widest spot, we are right at, let's see, right at three and a quarter inches. So quite a bit more than that uh, 45. So really good to see there. And let's check it out from the side. And same thing from the side. So you can see it came in, pretty much got immediate expansion and a huge stretch cavity going on. And that one does look like it carried about two thirds of that block through two thirds of that block and then we did settle down and then you can see it resting there in that second one. So let's see your measurement here from the side. So it's basically all the way down to the very bottom of the table to the very top and we are right at about three and a half inches on that one. So a little bit wider from the side than the top. But man, that is one nasty channel. And then uh, you can see it resting that block. It looks like it is facing upward. Let's see what our measurement is at our leading edge. We are right at two and three quarter. So that one made it 13 and three quarter inches of total penetration. So not as much as that 45, but uh, definitely more damage going on. So let's check these out one more time from the top. So the one on the right is that 45, one on the left is that 10 millimeter. So here is that 45. Came in, opened up, creating a pretty good uh, star pattern going all the way through. And then we did make it into that second block. And for our 10 millimeter, same thing. Looks like this one uh, opened up just a little bit quicker. Came in, got some really nice uh, spiral cuts going all the way through. And then you can see where it started to settle down a little bit. And that one also made in that second block. So let's pull these rounds and see what they look like. All right, check these things out. It looks like they both got some awesome expansion. So the one on the right is that 45, one on the left is that 10 millimeter. So here is that 45. I think got some picture perfect expansion on that one. Open right up, peel those pedals back perfectly. And that was one big slug right there. So very cool to see that that thing actually opened up at those uh, lower velocities. I have tested this a long time ago when I used to do the jug test uh, and it definitely didn't open up that much. So really awesome to see there. That's one big slug. And here's that 10 millimeter and that one uh, was moving out a little bit quicker. So you can definitely see that uh, lot bigger expansion going on but really pretty much the same thing picture perfect open right up got some awesome expansion there and that is definitely one big slug also so here they are one time from the bottom so like I said one on the right is that 45 one on the left is that 10 millimeter and last time from the top so like always I will get a uh, steel shots all that good stuff here at the end so you guys can get a better look at those rounds but there we go that one was 45 auto versus 10 millimeter thanks for watching guys all right and here's that cross section for that 45 so you can see you got some pretty decent splits going on definitely not the widest splits we've had in some of these tests but uh still pretty good there was a little bit of that cotton t-shirt right there i did remeasure both of these and right at their peak they are right at two inches so definitely not too bad so let's cut it open all right, so here's after being cut. So this bottom is the right, this top is the left. So you can see as soon as this thing came in, um, it was a little bit delayed right at that half inch mark. And then it uh, started to open up. Got some pretty decent splits going on though. Nice and deep in that uh, block. Looking pretty good. And same on this other side, you can see that same thing came in, started to parachute open. Getting a nice stretch cavity going all the way through. This side does have a little bit more of that uh, fabric that it drug in you can pretty much see it all the way through that track but not too bad that uh, wasn't the fastest 45 we've tested but uh you know still pretty decent stuff so there we go that one was at 230 grain plus p xtp all right and here's that cross section for that 10 millimeter so this one definitely has a lot more damage going on you got some really big splits you can see right down in there uh, same thing as the other side, got that perfect star cut going on. Um, I did remeasure these at their peak, they're right at three and a half inches, and they're averaging about three and a quarter. So definitely quite a bit more than that uh, 45. So really good to see there. So let's cut this open. All right, and here's after being cut. So this bottom is the right, this top is the left. So you can see as soon as this thing came in, right at that quarter inch mark, started to open up and it's just creating a ton of damage. Have some really really deep cuts going on there's a little bit of that cotton t-shirt that it drug in but just some massive cuts 
Really, really deep stuff right there. Really uh, jumbled this gel up. And same thing on the top. You see it came in, started to open up, have a huge stretch cavity going all the way through. And same thing on this side. Just mess this stuff up. There's a little bit more of that uh, fabric. But man, that is uh, definitely a pretty decent round for that short barrel. I have tested it, like I said, in the full size, and it got right as advertised. So uh, it wasn't too bad, you know, with those numbers that we were seeing today. And last angle, let's see if we can keep this thing up here. But you can really see how deep those cuts are and how nasty that stuff really is. But there we go, guys. That one was 180 grain Hornady XTP.